Let's talk about this amazing exhibit that you have here because we were talking about very old Hollywood um, brings us back to a time that is still fashionable today. Uh, yeah, it's very fashionable and really in, in, in a moment of rediscovery. I think we are beginning to reappreciate and rediscover uh, old Hollywood. And, and, you know, what is so fabulous about this exhibit is we're celebrating the life's work of the architect John Elton Wolf, who really is credited for having created uh, this style of architecture, this style of living. Right, and talk about some of the celebrities and the people that he did work for. Oh, it's, the, the list is most impressive. It's like every name that you've ever heard and admired in Hollywood. I mean, we have personal correspondence from uh, the actors and regarding business transactions between John Elton Wolf and the actor for their residence. It's really an interesting read. And some of it's uh, really quite educational because you see that not all the bills were paid in a timely way, you know, so, so you also get that part of the story as well. Well, there's a, a certain formality to it that I think puts uh, people at ease. And it's certainly appropriate in this Mediterranean uh, climate that we live in uh, because it has that great reference to the outdoors. Um, John Elgin Wolf arrived in Hollywood in the 1930s, hoping he's from uh, Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and he had hoped to land for himself a role in Gone with the Wind. But instead, he uh, found himself designing these fabulous residences for some of, of the Hollywood elite. And, and that's, you know, uh, uh, sort of, isn't that sort of the, the Western dream as you, you come to Hollywood and you're discovered? And, but in this case, his discovery was for the style of architecture that he created. He borrowed from English and French Regency. He, uh, he knew his history. Uh, and he combined all of those elements in a very original and unique way that had never been experienced before. And of course, uh, Los Angeles embraced that style. And we're so fortunate to have examples of that here in this great city uh, to see today. The fi final deadline for purchase of the raffle ticket is May 15th, and the grand prize drawing is here at the Arts Center May 29th. The exhibit runs through that date, May 29th. So come and get your tickets early because it'll be packed in here that night. Oh, it's a fun night. And, and we're always hopeful that the grand prize winner will be live in the audience. We, uh, we, last year we had the first early bird winner in the audience. It's a scream. It's a lot of fun. Sure. Well, you know, it, it takes money to do this. Mm -hmm. And um, we're proud to say that we use, you know, the, the funds from the raffle to fund our exhibitions and educational programs of the Arts Center. And, and so we feel that uh, we really are a community asset and uh, we, we, we want to be able to give back something as well. So we hope people will come out and support the raffle uh, and certainly visit the exhibition. Yeah.